On to McKinney now. The search is on today for more victims after a former LDS Sunday school teacher admitted to sexually assaulting several children. Noel Anderson is still behind bars as we understand tonight. Robbie Owens live in McKinney with some expert advice out there for parents who are going to have to have some pretty tough conversations. Robbie? That's right, Doug. First, the good news. McKinney police have said that so far, no additional victims have come forward, but they have a plea for parents. If your family had contact with Anderson, speak with your children, because if they have been harmed, they need to get help. By the way, Anderson told police that the abuse started seven years ago, and the expert I spoke with today couldn't help but wonder what had happened to him to turn him into a predator at just 15. For the child predator, smiles, experts say, are deliberately deceptive. Now news that a one-time Sunday school teacher has admitted to sexually assaulting young charges, parents are understandably betrayed and terrified. The next step is to take action. Ask the tough questions. Put up with your own discomfort in asking those questions. It's okay. You have your child's life at stake here. Dr. Sylvia Gearing says it's important to ask open-ended questions when talking to children about potential exposure to abusers, while reassuring them that their intuition will be respected and no one gets a pass. No matter who you're with, no matter how close that person is to our family, we want to know if there is any behavior or any situation where you were made to feel uncomfortable. And we will, we will address that immediately. Because your welfare, your safety is everything to us. According to McKinney police, one victim at the church made an outcry. When they questioned Noel Anderson, they say the one time Sunday school teacher admitted to sexually assaulting three more. He told police his victims were as young as two. Sexual abuse is like throwing a grenade in, in the middle of somebody's psychological life. It doesn't go away because they are treated like an object, and it's deeply, deeply hurtful. It transforms again their developmental path out of childhood. Now, we have put a link on our website with some resources from the Children's Advocacy Center here in Collin County. It's a way to help parents across North Texas have those conversations aimed at keeping their children safe. Live in McKinney, Robbie.